Uh, hi guys, this is Fide Master Charles Galofre uh, here once again to present a uh, video lecture and for today I'd like to show you a game between actually uh, different examples that, that are all uh, based on pawn majorities and the, the pawn majorities that we'll be talking about are really uh, positions in the end game and they're all uh with um with a set of uh of pieces in other words just not king and pawn ending endings with uh with majorities so uh, most of these examples are from Kravnik's games and that's because those are the ones that i could remember the most but some classical examples that i think uh everybody should know about uh, especially a Kravnik example is uh, and you could take note of this if you'd like to uh it's the the game uh, Kramnik versus Karpov, Monte Carlo, 1999, and uh, it was a rapid time control. And the second example, which is very classical, and I guess that this is one of the most, uh, I guess, repetitive themes in, uh, in like chess literature, and that's uh, Frank Marshall versus Capablanca. New York 1909 okay so today's uh, the first example is between Kramnik and Lotier I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, how the game developed from the opening just because uh, maybe that will help you uh, gain a better understanding or just help you remember the example better so white played knight to f3 and black continued with c5 c4 Knight f6, knight c3, knight c6, g3. And here black played d5. d4, e6. Now we've transposed into an opening that uh, I've, at, uh, I've uh, recommended for black or I've made some videos here on the site. And that's the semi tarash defense. After pawn takes d5, knight takes d5. If, let's say, uh, black were to capture with the pawn, it would have been the, the Tarash defense. So here white plays bishop to g2. And black plays pawn takes d4. Now the best move in this position is to play knight to knight d to b4 with the idea of capturing on d4. And that leads to equality but there's some complications um, in that line that are uh, white basically sacrifices a pawn to gain an initiative. And so if black doesn't know the theory uh, correctly, he could have uh, a difficult time in that position. So black played pawn takes d4 and white continues with knight takes. Knight takes c3, pawn takes c3. Black continues to liquidate on d4, knight takes. Queen takes, and in this position, um, black goes into the, game, the end game with queen takes d4. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.